What's going on YouTube? Hey, I'm going to try to make this one quick here. We're going to talk a little bit about Kanye. Hey, look. Kanye made some uh, statements about slavery. Kanye had the nerve to sit up here and talk about how slavery was a choice. That we was bought over here on ships tied up, beaten like dogs, like it was a freaking choice. For 400 years, we was enslaved by the white man, by choice. And you know what? He come out here and he's supporting Trump with the Make America Great hat on and all of that. Kanye, Seemed like he didn't lost his mind. Or has he? See, I used to think like that a long time ago. Turn right on Fannin Street. Shut up. I used to think like that a long time ago, that slavery wasn't a choice, that we didn't have a choice. But for thousands of years, People had a choice to do all kinds of things. People stood up for their freedom. Give me death or give me freedom. Or I might be misquoting that. Harriet Tubman said she could have freed more people if they knew that they were slaves. In the movie Black Panther, they was talking about how the people jumped off of the ship because they didn't want to be slaves. A lot of people died jumping off them ships because they didn't want to be slaves. People would rather die than become slaves to be in bondage. And you know what? Kanye was right. It did become a choice. Because it became, it got to the point where that might be one or two slave masters and ten slaves. And them slaves could have easily beat the crap out of old master and took over the land. But after a while of getting beat down mentally they lost it they mentally became enslaved they mentally figured well we might rather just stay here mentally they were broken and beaten because if they would have just fought back said nah 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 you bought me you paid for me I'm expensive and you're gonna treat me like that or you're gonna have to kill me or I'm not gonna work for you they would have done that like some other races did then we would not have been viable or sustainable physically or financially because we've been dead what are you going to do with a bunch of dead bodies? You're going to have to bury them. That's going to cost you. Well, maybe not then. It wouldn't have cost you. Just dig a hole and dump them. But it's going to probably stink up your, stink up your land. It's going to probably ruin your soil. But you can, you're going to have to grow your crops. You're going to have to do something with those bodies. Feed us to the pigs. Pigs eat anything. That might just taint your bacon. It might taint your animals. And even to this day, as far as black people being slaves, we're still slaves. Mentally, we are still slaves. And Kanye, as crazy as he might seem, he stepped off the plantation. 
Kanye's got death threats now for stepping off the plantation. The Crips uh, have the Crips have put a death threat on him. They put a hit out on him. For stepping off the plantation. And Kanye made it plain and simple that he's all about free thinking, freedom of speech. The man definitely has the stones to stand up for what he believes in. He definitely does that. But what's bad about it? What's bad about looking at all sides of, of something and coming to your own conclusion? See, what a lot of black people don't seem to understand is that it's the liberal policies that have been hurting us for more than 50 years that we've been voting for. The liberal policies are designed to keep us in a box. Liberal policies tell us that we can't help ourselves. It's the government that uh, needs to step in and help us. If you go to that video that I posted where it says F. Obama, he says that we are too stupid and not just black people, but we as American citizens are too stupid to govern ourselves. So we need people smarter to come in and do it for us. That's the video F. Obama and I actually spell it out and it, it, that video still gets views and comments. Go look that up for yourself and see what Obama said. Obama's a Democrat, a.k.a. liberal. The liberals tell us, the people, that we can't do it, especially black people. Oh, it's not your fault that you're in that situation. You couldn't help it. Stay in this box. Vote for us. We'll give you whatever we want. Just like slaves. Slaves figure that, well, if we just stay over here with Massa, he feeding us. He give us whatever we want. We just stay over here and be good. And we ain't got to worry about nothing. And we turn our back on our own black people whenever they step outside of the box. Or whenever we, because I'm one of them who stepped outside of the box. Whenever we decide to step outside of the box and say, hey, and that's what Kanye did. Kanye said, hey, why do we need to mentally follow the same trend? That's slavery. I refuse to be a slave to my own thoughts or to a, a slave to your thoughts that I need to think a certain way, be a certain way, act a certain way, vote a certain way when I have my own mind why is it that when black people get their own mind and they look at the policies that have hurt us all these years that we're sellouts that we're coons we're, we're cooning for the white man we're against our own people we're racist against our own people Again, I'll say it again, Kanye has the stones to stand up for what he believes in. He has the stones. He's free of the slavery mindset, the bondage, that, uh, that singular mindset. Most of Kanye's fans are black people. And he's making a lot of them very angry because he's now supporting the so-called racist Donald Trump. Donald Trump whose policies are helping somebody as broke as I am keep more money in my pocket. Donald Trump who's so racist that 
black unemployment is down as low as it's ever been since they've started tallying it. Donald Trump, who has been praised by all kind of black people throughout his career, is all of a sudden racist, you know, now that he ran against the Democrats. Donald Trump, who has helped so many people, now that Kanye is swarmed, Kanye is a coon, Kanye is a sellout, Kanye has lost his mind, had one YouTuber on here who I am subscribed to, she's an excellent singer, said that I didn't know Kanye was white. Had the one rapper come out and uh, applaud Kanye for standing up for himself for what he believed in, only to take all of that back after black people started attacking him for taking up for Kanye. Why is it like that? And yes, if you actually do the math, all that stuff with the British colony and all of that, yeah, slavery goes back about 400 years. And yes, at some point it does become a choice. You get comfortable. Kevin did a very good analysis when he said, you know, when an elephant is young and he's in the circus and you chain its foot up, that elephant struggle and try to get away. And he can't. Later on, you don't need a chain. They just put a little rope around his foot. The elephant is big and strong and grown. They just put a little rope around his foot and the elephant look at the rope and like, well, ain't no sense of me trying to escape now. It ain't been working. And that's what that's where black people are now. Just try one more time. And that's what Trump challenged us to do. Trump came out and he said, we've been voting the same way for 50 years and where has it got you? Anyways, that's kind of my thought on this here whole situation. Congrats, Kanye. Uh, man, even I underestimated you. You're a lot smarter than I thought. And uh, what I admire about you, Kanye, is that you are 